1980s, but Mike Tyson is absolutely awesome. Just sit back and watch, but don't blink, because you could miss it. A low right from Young. Must land something or else it's just a question of a few seconds. That'll do it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're forgetting that the three eight. knockdown rule is in effect. This fight is over. Mike Tyson, three fights, three wins, two inside a round. And the last one against Don Halpin went all of four rounds. And Tyson, we've already seen in his brief pro career, hits like a steam hammer. As Ricardo Spain has already found that. Boy, that was quick. The eyes of the giveaway. Oh, left, <laughs> the legs have gone. This is all over. Yes, it is. I don't believe it. That's, that's well inside a minute. He said he's not looking for the Tyson of Fort McKinley and Mathis. Here's a combination uppercut by Tyson. Tyson laying it on, pouring it on. Down goes Bruno into the ropes. And That's it good. is all over. It is all over here in round three. Mike Tyson is champion again. And that is it. Mike Tyson is back. The Tyson era has begun. to see how Rich to you, attempts to use that advantage in height and reach. Castiavato, of course. Uh, oh, right hand by Tyson. Oh, my. Mike Tyson, a fellow for whom everybody predicts a great future. Uh, if they can find some fights, then... That left hand almost drove Richardson right through the canvas. Yeah, trying to get the angle is Tyson. You use that right foot and pivot. Swing around on your opponent's side and then crack. Oh, he got a right uppercut. Out of the right uppercut. And down goes Mathis. So he stepped back and did it again. Stepped oh, off and around six, and ripped that uppercut seven, to where Mathis was ducking eight, right into it. Nine, ten. the 
could not make it by the count of 10. You heard in the corner before that round, Kevin Rooney saying, start throwing punches with mean intentions. And they're both halfway towards each other as the bell sounds. And already Tyson crowds him. And he's hurt him. Bruno's hurt and he's over in the first few seconds. It's disaster time. And he gets up quickly and he looks across at Tyson. Now then, is he going to be able to withstand any more? It looks as though it's slipping from him now. But you can be proud of him. One low one there. He can't survive this. He can't survive it. Terry Lawless is in with the towel. It must be all over. Bruno is taken out of the fight. Just a few seconds before the end of the fifth. And this astonishing fighter, Tyson, is still the champion. Thank you, brother. Well, that was some fight. Tyson is everything that people could have hoped for in that round. Trevor Burbick, we should point out, has been down twice. There's another big shot by Tyson. Burbick in a heap of trouble. Down he goes. The punches are coming in such a succession that uh, Burbick can't deal with them. That was a right to the body and an uppercut He's... to the head, and Burbick is down. This one is going to be over, I believe. It's over. That's all. And we have a new era in boxing. Tyson 5-10. Go late. Well, a good 6-3. Left hook. Good night. What a great shot. There's a mandatory eight. Seven. They keep wheeling him out. He keeps knocking him over. что, конечно, публика в состоянии полного шока. Да, чистейший. I'm glad you pointed it out because down he goes, the left hook just buried him, dug him in the ribs. I think it was a and left Jack and a right. Johnson went goodbye. Canvas. 23-pound weight oh, advantage. My goodness. And he put the it all right, there. The right to the head, and it's all over. Goodbye. I hope he's not hurt because that was a brutal wide open punch. Against the guy that hadn't fought in a long time in Jerry Cooney. The right hand lands to the head of Mike Spinks. It's Tyson all the way here in round number one. Vicious shots to the body. Nothing really heavy landing yet, but he's taking them. The uppercut. Body shot. Down goes. Mike Spinks for the first time. Here comes Mike Spinks in. He leaves with the right hand. Down he goes. I don't think you get up from this. 
Mike Spinks is laying flat on his back. The count is up to five and six and seven and eight. He won't be able to do it. It's all over. Mike Tyson has won it. He should be doing a lot more movement than he is now. He's allowing Mike Tyson to trap him in the corner. That'll be enough. Surprise! And Tyson rushes to Tillman to help him up. Oh, goodness, we want a right hand there for Tyson. And Larry Holmes on his back here in round four. But he's beaten the count. That was a very, very heavy right hand. I just put your mind back to the night when Ernie Shavers cracked him as well. How did Holmes beat that one? He's down again, second time. Oh, what a punch that was. Oh, and he's gone again, and the legs absolutely collapsed underneath him. So, Larry Holmes then absolutely flattened here in the fourth round. A bevy of punches there from Mike Tyson. Supplemental four-point uh, scoring system if the rounds wind up even, and the three-knockdown rule is in effect. Tyson comes out slugging. He comes out smoking like Marvis's father, Joe. Marvis must move or we're going to be out of here very, very quickly. Uppercut and Marvis is hurt. Razor is down. Joe Cortez moves in to have a look. And he's going to stop the fight. It did not last 20 seconds. Tyson goes over to take a look at Marvis Frazier, obviously quite concerned. A terrific uppercut. The same punch with which Tyson knocked out Jesse Ferguson the first time you saw him here on ABC Sports. Watch the uppercut, the right uppercut. We're going to show it to you in just a moment. Right Jim now, Jacobs. there is Jim Jacobs, yes. Well, manager of Mike Tyson talking to him. 30-second knockout sensation. Watch the right hand of Mike Tyson. Marvis in the corner and trapped. There it was. Just clipped him right on the chin. The left was unnecessary. Marvis is badly hurt at this point. 